Why is the board's reputation decreased with me? I'm not really understanding this. Alright, what? What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. I am doing pretty well. I'm doing pretty fucking fine. I don't know if you guys uh, saw the comment I left under one of the earlier videos of Star Wars is that um, Well, I've been having some issues lately. It's uh, my EA account for Star Wars got hacked So uh, that was a bit of a problem. I had to replay Star Wars and uh, The other thing was that I had Outer Worlds in a different map uh, Which Dauntless the game is also in However, I was deleting Dauntless to make sure uh, I had enough room to get Star Wars on the computer. I don't have that much space uh, in the full in the in the drive I had them in. Uh, so I accidentally deleted Outer Worlds, but uh, re-downloading it and having to play a little bit of it again, it did remember something somehow. But uh, glad for that. But uh, we got back. So yeah, we're gonna continue with um, what you call it, the city and the stars. Uh, we have to go to this place, and we made it, so, uh, right now, we're gonna go ahead and get to the place we gotta go. So, I hope everybody's doing okay. I have missed you guys in the other worlds. It's been a fucking blast playing this game for you guys, and it's an absolute honor, to be honest with you. Because you're just simply the best audience on YouTube, you feel me? Not so fast. The Ministry of Accuracy and Morale is off-limits to everyone without X-36 level clearance. Basically, if you don't work here, or for Chairman Rockwell himself, you're not getting in. Show him the Chairman's card. I don't know how you got that, but I still don't know you, and I don't have any new clearances on the list. Right, we have to get Intimidate level 70, uh, which was currently very close to that, if I remember correctly. Uh, let's go to Character and Skills. And take a look. Intimidate, which was 68. We're almost there. We gotta get uh, one more level up in order for us to get it. So yeah, I remember. Okay, so we gotta... Okay, alright. Okay, alright. Okay. Alright, okay. Okay, alright. So we gotta... <laughs> so we gotta go outside. We gotta go outside and do weapons of the... Weapons of the motherfucking void. Alright, so I asked uh, some of the guys that have been supporting my channel for a really long time on uh, a little subject called, um, get ready for it, da -da 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 that was supposed to be a drum roll, um, <laughs> face cam. So yeah, so far basically uh, what you guys told me is that uh, if I feel comfortable with it, I should totally do it. Uh, the, the, the thing is... I'm still kind of debating on it if I'm super comfortable with it because on the other hand I don't really care what other people think of me that much uh, not as much as I should probably but um, you know it's still a little strange um, for sure I I don't I guess I can do it but um, well I gotta get uh, a cam first, of course. So I was taking a look at the Razer uh, camera with the circle uh, they got around it with the LEDs. I thought that one was pretty cool, so I might just uh, go ahead and do that. Um, yeah, just what what do you guys think of that? Do you guys think that will be a pretty good idea, or well, 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 well what do you have in mind? I personally, I don't think I would, uh, I think it would help the channel a bit if the people could hear, uh, the face behind the voice. So, you'll get a load of this sexiness. <laughs> don't forget to put on some glasses. No, I mean, don't put on glasses, they might shatter. Um, haha, <laughs> fun joke. So, anyway, um, <laughs> I thought it was a pretty good idea. So you guys will agree with me on that one, and um, yeah, that would be pretty cool. That's on the void, we need 100 hack to do that. Jesus Christ, so we can't do that either? What are we supposed to do then? Let's take a look here, because 
travel to Fallbrook, we're also able to get something, I think. If not, we're just gonna go ahead and do the Ice Palace. I think, um... You know what? Fuck it. These few minutes of the video have been wasted, but, um... It doesn't matter. You guys are about to see some serious gameplay. <laughs> some serious gameplay right now. Something you've probably never, ever seen before. Unless you've been watching me for a while and get kind of used to me fucking... Fucking around all everywhere. So let's get to the HRS 1084. Let's see if we can maybe go ahead and do something like that. Uh, or else we just gotta go ahead and slay monsters and shit. Or find some different side quests. Because um, if you talk to NPCs who uh, are speaking out loud in anywhere of the nearby cities. And you talk to them, they'll usually give you a side quest. You'll be surprised how many side quests are, are actually in this game. Restricted area, okay. Are you ready to rumble? I sure as hell am. So yeah, tonight, uh, ow, fuck me, I wasn't expecting a landmine for Christ's sake. Get the fuck out of here, man. What you doing, man? Come on, man. Fucking shit blowing up out of nowhere. I wasn't ready for that. Are you ready for this? So yeah, guys, what are your guilty pleasures? I'm gonna go ahead and come right out of the closet with mine one. <laughs> not a gay joke, I'm not gay, but uh, okay if you are. Captain, I've been oh. attempting to contact you with urgent news. Go ahead. However, communicational functionality was impaired due to the power outage. I see. What's going on, Ada? A UDL vessel has been tracking our position and just recently docked with the station. They are patching into the station's transmission lines now. I cannot stop. I've been waiting for this day since we tagged your ship. Corporate Cassidy Commander. Here, Captain. So glad we finally have this opportunity. My ship is docked with 1084. There's no escape. Cut the transmission. The UDL gunship remains docked at the station. They Fuck must you. intend to board with a full squad of troops. I wish I could say that I was worried, but, uh, well, I'm not. We got my boy Sam over here, rocking around his booty. We're about to kill every single motherfucking living thing in this building. With my trusty old saw fucker. Okay, everything respawned. That's never good. Boom, get the fuck out. Boom, get the fuck out. What you doing, boy? Okay, this guy's a lot of health. Got him. This guy's infinite health, man. What the hell? I forgot all the buttons. How do I heal again? F. Whew, that was close. Jesus Christ, man. Get the fuck out of here, man. What you doing, man? Fuck! Jesus, this guy's taking a beat, huh? He's not even halfway! You have corrosion damage. That should take him down easily, right? We did. Good. Good, 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 good. Let's go and loot all these cunts. Because they deserve to be looted. And the only thing they deserve, but let's talk about that in another video. In another video. So guys, um, yeah, we've been doing pretty well on the channel so far. We have almost reached 1100 subs. Wow. Yes, well that's it. Oh, wow, that's incredible, dude. Yeah, I know, right? I mean, uh, I'm pretty proud of it, honestly, if I say so myself. Uh, it's been a lot of work to get to 1100 uh, more than I actually 
originally intended, I guess, is a, is a word I can use. Um, which is not a bad thing, of course, but... Ah, but nothing, really, I'm just, uh... Why is every fucking thing in this place blowing up? Stop it! So yeah, it's a pretty big deal. I'm pretty, uh, pretty happy about it. I'm, uh, glad to have you guys, uh, aboard. So, of course, to give something back to you guys, I like to always keep doing the giveaways. The thing, the giveaways are a big, uh, a big deal. I think they, uh, they help the channel as well as they just, I don't know, get me more happy to bring you guys as much to the future as I possibly can, of course. Which is kind of the whole point, right? Which can be the whole point. So yeah, we're just gonna continue playing games whenever a new one releases. I'm not hundred percent sure which game is next on my list. I'll go ahead and check that out and let you guys know in the next episode of Star Wars. By the way, guys, if you have been watching the Star Wars series, how are you enjoying it so far? Are you, uh, are you liking it? Man, this shot is dirty. I right, took them two down. This guy is infinite health. Oh man, I gotta be careful here. Shit, reloading. Ooh, get out. This guy's a fuck ton of health, man. What the hell's up with that? Jesus. That was actually hard as hell. I would imagine you have to use shock damage against them. In most games, corrosive damage is what usually takes down uh, these bastards. <laughs> and um, in this game, that's not the case, apparently. Maybe shock would do. Security routes, modify the systems. Yep, continue. Project summary, no. Messages, yeah. No. Four locks. Claire, Charlene, James. James again. Access the onboard transcript. Job done. We can go home to the ship. Tap that shit. So we almost leveled up, uh, which is pretty cool. Looks like we do have to uh, level our hack to 100. It looks like that's really necessary. Already in the game, so many things, so many hacking things require you to have a hundred already. So if you're just joining the series and uh, planning on playing the game yourself, keep that in mind. Keep it in mind, you're gonna have to level hack up right quick. Hold on, I'm just gonna take a quick sippy poo because I'm thirsty. Ah, <sighs> oh, that's good stuff. Ah, oh, that's good stuff. That's some real good iced tea, baby. <laughs> We've arrived at the groundbreaker. So yeah, I've been uh, pretty excited about new games coming out. Yes. I'm really fucking excited for Diablo 4. Uh, Diablo 4 has just been absolutely uh, something I've looked forward to for a long time already. It's been, what, like five years-ish since Diablo 3 came out? Maybe longer even. The game has been out forever. So yeah, uh, I played the fuck out of that one. Got into... I uh, played a lot of Greater Rifts in Diablo 3. And uh, when I started playing Greater Rifts, I usually just spent... Um, I think I got the Greater Rift 116. It was pretty high. I think I was top 6 of the ladder. It was pretty good. Pretty good. Played it quite a lot as well. It's good shit. It's good shit. So yeah, I've been talking a fuck ton this episode. Uh... <laughs> I guess you gotta keep the commentary live, am I right? Um, yeah, it's just a lot of stuff to tell you guys in just a 20 minute episode. I mean, uh, people who know me in real life uh, know that I do tend to talk a lot, so um, Finally, <laughs> there you go. A base of our own. Soon we'll have eyes on every corner of the system. Well done, Captain. 
You're welcome. Now give me my money. You can also find automatic salvage awaiting new owners. These base have scientist suspension things. Some might be alive. You got any more work First, for me? I need to get something off my chest. Aside from the automated security, did you meet any resistance at the station? I did. It was an easy job, no surprises. UDL sort of just swarmed me once I got the lights on. I knew it. They've been shadowing us since Monarch. Maybe even longer. That's fine. I've been less than honest with you. Your assignments weren't strictly about the salvage business. We might have figured that out already. <sighs> yep. It was about your cloak and dagger warnings. That's right. Up until now, I've kept you in the dark for your protection. That's why I like secret missions for mine. people who don't know. But I'd like to think we've earned each dagger. other's trust. After the monarch job, I started I connecting the dots. I didn't like the picture. Then what we found at Station 1084 confirmed my fears. You and I have stumbled onto something big. Something none of us were meant to know. Well, bad news I take it. The truth about the human tailbone? <laughs> I'm thinking more along the lines of the sapient species paradox. The sapient species? Ask yourself why a skeleton crew was studying that Alta Vitae gas in secret. Ask yourself why stockpiles were hidden on a planet full of monsters. The Sapien Paradox. You think this is about the discovery of intelligent life? Wrong. I think it's about intelligent life discovering us. Oh. Aliens. I'm talking about aliens. They're the ones responsible for the deaths at 1084. And who knows what else. We have to put a stop to it. Well, isn't basically the monsters we're fighting... I'm saying it's aliens. I'm not asking you to like it. I'm not even asking you. Isn't to like believe. all the monsters we fight on different planets also kind of aliens? The colony, and I can't. Perhaps not alone. intelligence, but this doesn't feel at all right, Captain. Right. I'm done. I'm officially tuning you out until such time as I hear the words payment and or shooting. Or both. Who is skeptical? That's good. I don't want you walking into the unknown with blindfolds on. I assume you have questions. Well, now I do, actually. A few. Hallucin has hallucinogens, you're if on. If we're gonna see this through, I'll need your trust and commitment. Now's the time for setting doubts aside. All right, let me know. Aliens, when you say aliens, what are we talking about here? Conspiracy. One carried out with the help of human collaborators, assuming they haven't all been replaced. This is an invasion right. of our very cells. That damned gas is mixing our nuclein with Halcyon biology to twist us, change us. Make us more like those monsters on Monarch. I haven't seen any evidence of aliens. No kidding. That's how they want it. When I lined up the evidence in my spreadsheet, there was only one possible conclusion looking back at me. This is my data talking, not my anxiety or lack of sleep. How do you know I'm not an alien spy on a mission of silence here? Sharing my findings took a calculated risk. If you were a spy, I doubt you'd even realize it. Only your cells would know. Well, that's comforting. <laughs> we're coming to get you, Lila. Tobias, get my knife. The big one. That was a joke. Ha ha. We each get one. Now, back to business. <laughs> Enough. Tell me what needs to be done. Dr. Chartrand is the crooked psychopath behind the gas experiments. She sold out her species, and I need you to put a bullet through her skull. Jesus. Straight with the killing, huh? Why does Mr. Chart need to die? Sounds messy, but I'll take the job. Just think of it as salvaging hope from the smoking wreckage of humanity. This what is if she's an alien, though? Those eyes secret. are awful to green. Want a steady position in our ranks? Buy one with a bullet. Alright, what do I get for joining up? Well, there's your usual fee. What else do you want? A promotion? It's yours. Even better. I'll owe you one. Hmm. This key card will get you through the front door the of the Byzantium Estate. Do this, baby. Don't ask how I got it. Okay. You might not like the answer. Perhaps I won't. By now, the other side knows what you're doing. Don't trust anything Chartrand says. 
She's compromised down to the bone. Well, her name's Maybe goddamn Chartrand. How trustworthy can she be? We leveled up! So let's get uh, Intimidate two more levels, I think, because he gives me 18. And uh, fuck me, dude. Let's go uh, put some points in the hack. Sounds good. All right, all right. Let's get our hack up to level 100 so we can start unlocking some serious doors. Some serious doors. Don't keep in mind, we also should have uh, skills we just did. Perk? No, no perk for me. All right, good shit. Um, let's get back. Wait, my journal said if I go for this one. Well, we're gonna go back to the City of Stars. Uh, let's head to the map. And let's go to the Unreliable. So basically what we're going to do right now, um, we only have 52 hack, uh, I mean intimidate currently, which is not too much of a problem because next time we leave the ship we'll bring Sam, and because Sam is a gigantic robot, uh, he'll give us some intimidation. So basically the intimidation we get with him is 18 plus, so that'll put us at exactly 70. Is that good or is that good? That's what I'm saying, that's good. Oh that's real good. So I hope that the bonus points uh, your companions give you will actually also help you in dialogue. That's not something I'm 100% sure of yet. Sure of yet. Let's go ahead and check. Character, skills, uh, intimidate, level 70. Okay, that should be good. That should be good. Let's go to the Acropolis district and let's head into that house. And uh, let's go ahead and pass that guards uh, thing, thing majig. What was Incoming. that? What the f Fuck, what did I do? Leave me alone! I didn't do anything. What the fuck did I do? Did I commit a crime or something? <laughs> what? Huh? Why Incoming. are they attacking me? I think I just let, I have to let him kill me, I guess. Am I okay now? Am I able to go back into the city or what's going on? So I'm not 100% sure what happened there. We were in that building before, weren't we? Perhaps we just gotta go ahead and walk to it? Let's travel to a place close to it. And see if we can maybe walk from there and if they'll still attack us. They shouldn't, because I died, but... You know. They're still hostile for some reason. I don't understand what I did. Why is the board's reputation decreased with me? I'm not really understanding this. All right, while I go figure this shit out, um, I think this will be a pretty good party in the episode. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I made such a mess. I don't even know why. I don't even know what I did. So guys, if you enjoyed the video, uh, let me know in the comment section down below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching and all the support we've been getting. I'll see you tonight, uh, tomorrow in Star Wars. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, bye-bye.